Macon County Girls Tournament Finals from Sangamon Valley High School for the Hungry McGee Sticks and Snacks Highlights with a five-time defending champion and undefeated Central A&M Raiders taking on St. Teresa, who had upset on the mind. And the first off the miss by McKenna Thornton. She gets the long rebound, gives it to Dalen Schweitzer. Three ball, good, and the Bulldogs have the lead. Vanessa Nuttaker, oh, Nessa. She's not going to stop. She takes it all the way in for the lay-in. Bulldogs up 7-4 to four in the first. Ryan Dooley, listen, you can't leave her open from there. She had a big night tonight, and we are tied up in the first. Who else had a big night? Mika Maples. Shot fake, drive, great take by the senior. Raiders up 2. McKenna Thornton with a steal, and she is going to go for it. All the way in for the lay-in. Bulldogs up 2 late in the first. Shelby Daly with time running out for Papa Tom. Hits the baseline jumper and we are knotted up at 15 after one. In a second, Jordan Bruner, the ginger dog with the take for the deuce. Bulldogs back up two. Raiders go on a little run though. Olivia Jordan, you know the Jordans are money. She drills that three, the Raiders are up six in the second. St. T hanging around, Kaylin Jarrett. Pretty little free throw jumper there. Keeps the Bulldogs close, but AM kept running. Maples on the fast break, takes it all the way in for the hoop and the foul. They ended the half on a 10 to nothing run, and Central AM took the lead at halftime 39 to 23. In the third, Raiders keep rolling. Maples from way downtown, bang. Raiders push the lead up to 20. Ryan Dooley drives. What a great pass fake, takes it up and in for the lay in. She had 23 on the night, and they could feel their sixth title a-coming. Jordan Bruner with the fast break lay-in for the Bulldogs. They fought, but it just wasn't in the cards for them tonight. Later on, play stop. Mika Maples honored for getting her 500th career rebound. Congratulations to her. Oh, and she went ahead and scored a game-high 27 points also. As Central A&M claims their sixth straight county tournament title with a 70-42 win, they also stayed perfect on the season. It's huge. It's, I mean, it's, it just shows how dominant. And, and I mean, this this tournament is real. It's a great tournament for us, and uh, it's it's just so exciting. I think it's pretty important because I mean, we got five already. Why not get another? So let's not stop here. Just keep going, keep pushing because we know we're capable of just getting better each year and just keep playing our playing our game. It feels awesome. Uh, we've had, I've had a lot of talented kids and uh, it really doesn't have a lot to do with coaching. I got good kids that go out there and get it done and you saw that tonight from uh, a lot of players. We're a second half team in my opinion and I know it takes me a little bit to get going so I know that our momentum just kept on coming as the game kept on flowing on. Staying on the field it's nice. Um, we try to just take it game by game but I mean it's pretty nice. Hopefully I mean I don't know. We just got to learn that we can't we can't give up any time, no matter what team it is. We have to give it our all and just play Raider ball. What I like about our team, when, when a kid's hot, everybody will defer to him, and we call it feeding the monster, and I thought they fed the monster tonight with, with both Mika and Ryan. Uh, but we've got kids like Emma that's capable of doing that, Abigail, Olivia, Shelby. I thought Shelby Daly played great. We've got a lot of good minutes from a lot of people. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, i got a lot of weapons, and it's fun to coach them.